Hey, what's going on? So I want to put this video out there real quick. Hopefully it's quick, but um, basically talking about this piece of shit right here that everybody in the military has at least come across once in their career. Um, it's the standard bandolier that comes in ammo cans. Uh, generally, when you're at the range, people are just going to crush these up and throw them out. I just so happened to come across about 50 of them <clears throat> and thought, you know, it would be a shame to have them all thrown away. And the material is actually not too bad. It's tough. It does have pockets. I felt it could possibly serve another purpose. So I grabbed them, played around with them a little bit, and basically came up with an idea. Um, this isn't going to change the world or anything like that, but it could be some last minute, you know, prepping ideas. Um, basically, took that bandolier and stitched a couple of them together and pretty much came up with this idea. Now, this isn't special or anything, so I don't want anybody... accuse me of inventing anything but here we go all right so first off these things aren't that bad everybody bitches about them they're like they suck everybody wants to go buy a hundred dollar bandolier all right cool that's fine but hey free is free and if it works it works people are going to tell you you can only fit four magazines in here not the case um you can get eight these are double stacked standard military magazines that you're going to find pretty much anywhere. So if you need a last minute bug out, you know, if you need to just throw some rounds in the back of the truck to fight zombies and all that stuff, think about this. So yeah, you can get eight mags. Now what I did was took two of these bandoliers and I put them together. So this is the opening here. Basically, it creates this pouch in the center here. So what I did was, if you can see here, each of these bandoliers is stitched together and it has a little tab at the end. At the end of every seam, you've got a little tab. And they're um, on the sides here too. All you gotta do, tie those tabs together, knot it really good, and then super glue that knot, and it's pretty much not going to come out. They're going to hold together, and that's going to hold pretty darn tight. No issues yet, and I've been using this thing pretty regularly. So these are going to hold pretty well, especially if you just need a last minute, you know, bag. Do right now is take these out again. This thing will hold 16, so I've got two in each. So, what I do want to show you though is when you stitch that together, so you've got a double, double bandolier, and then you can have two things wear like a backpack, I guess, if you wanted to. Anyway, not important. One of the cool things that this does, though, is it allows you to stack magazines on one side and maybe you have boxes of ammunition that you want to use on the other. <clears throat> Don't limit this to just carrying around uh, M16, M4 Max. You can also put boxes of ammo in these. They're going to fit. You might have to wiggle them in there a little bit, but they're going to fit. Here's just a standard box of 9 mil fits in there. Here's just a box of slugs. Fits in there. Two boxes of slugs. Fits in the same pouch. Pretty cool, huh? 50 round box. 5.56. Five, see if we can get that in there. It does. It fits. So, think outside the box a little bit. You don't just have to put 
the magazines in there. And here's a box of 40 cal. This seems to be pretty much the hardest fit, but I guarantee if I wiggle that bitch in there a little bit, it'll get in there. Maybe if I use the center. Anyway, cool thing about this too though, stitching both of these bandoliers together also gives you that little inside flap right that I was talking about. Now although it might seem stupid, you know, it does actually come with a purpose. You can throw stuff in there. You can throw there you go, can of beans. Right? Pretty much anything. So you could really load this bandolier up with something. As long as it doesn't fit through this hole between the two stitches, you're good to go. Example. 200 rounds of 5.56. Stick that in the bandolier. Another brick of 5.56. Bandolier. Now this bandolier already has the ammo in it. I already loaded with it with. Now it's got all that 5.56 in there. Grab these. Pull it up. Keep it a little bit low. As long as you keep these straps together, it's going to hold. It's going to hold all that. And when it's on your body, of course, these things are going to, you know, stretch out and pretty much hold everything. Oops. But yeah, I'm going to give you a little better view here. Everything's going to hold really well. Again, this isn't, you know, something I'm expecting to take off, but in a real quick, 